Congressman Pascrell, thanks for being with me. So the White House All says right. the public has here. no right, right? They're no longer coming up with the president says, oh, I really want to do it. I really want to yeah. do it. it. That's all over. There's that was not going to happen. Story. There's no right. What's your reaction? Well, I think there's one fish story after another. The president has nothing to do with this. The request was made to the IRS, not to the president of the United States. You don't send a letter to the president and say, can I have your taxes? That is not how it works. The law is very specific. They're in 6103, Section F, the code. They should read it once in a while to know what the heck they're talking about. This is going to be determined by the IRS, which has never turned down a request this way. President is not <coughs> above the law. I'm not above the law. None of us are. We want to know, for instance, did the president pay his fair share of taxes? You know, he's been audited so many times in the last 25 years. We want to know what's happened. Some of these audits wound up in, in, in the yeah. fact of taking him to court, taking his organization yeah, to court. That's true. And, and he was excoriated in those cases, as David yes, K. Johnson has uh, you know, reported extensively on. Um, right. but, but, but do you think, given that he has been audited before, uh, given that there's been plenty of uh, questionable or, or problematic things in there, if there was anything hugely criminal or compromising from some other country, wouldn't, wouldn't we already know? Well, no, uh, the, what, what was usually when you do an audit, you're after a specific area of your tax returns. But this goes beyond your 1040. This is not a 1040 discussion. We're talking about his personal accounts. We're talking about his business dealings. He has business dealings all over. We don't know what that's going to show. There may be nothing here, but what is he hiding? What are the Republicans for over two years trying to mm. defend the president when no one's accused him of anything. We want to see what's in his tax returns. And we're not going to make it public. That also is very clear in the law. The Republicans had no trouble earning. This is what burns my fanny. Four years ago, they went after, if you remember, they went after the head of the IRS, Elizabeth Lerner. Yes. Remember that? Yes, I do remember that. And, and 50 individuals because they belong to quote unquote liberal groups to prove their point, their taxes, their tax returns were audited. Their tax returns were unfolded. Their names, their business, yeah. and then what happened? Nothing, nothing was found, nothing was illegal. But what are they talking about? This is total hypocrisy. I asked the chairman, when he was a Republican, when the Republicans were in charge. Yes. In 2017, let's do this together so that it is nonpartisan. So they laughed, say it's a precedent. At me. They don't want you all to be able to do this. It's a precedent, right? I understand there's also a precedent, a public policy, a, a public relations precedent, right? And that is release your taxes. We all know what that is. Uh, they've all done it. Mitt Romney yep. did it. He's taking the president's side today. Maybe that's because he, he got for slammed years. for his low he tax rate on capital years, gains. Romney. Right, right, right. But 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 a precedent we're talking about now is different. That's you yeah, guys no in Congress kidding. can go out and just and just snatch someone's tax returns like the president. Is that a different precedent that, that concerns you? Yeah, the president has always thought that the presidency, the executive branch of government, is in Article One. It's in Article Two. We are Article One. This is a checks and balance government. No one is above the law, be it Democrat or Republican. This was done for Democrats. This was done for Republicans. This president is going to have to release his returns, primarily because he's been audited. We want to know what's, and that's, that could be the beginning okay. of other research. This is going to be, if you take this to court, we're going to win. The law is on our side. All right. And Richie Neal did a good job in sending the letter to the right person. All right. Well, as we know, there's a big fight coming up ahead of you. Thank you so much, Congressman Pascrell. I appreciate your time. My honor.